Good morning, family. It's uh, early in the morning, but I had something on my heart, and I had to get it out. Um, had a wonderful couple days. I camped for three nights and with some great friends, great brothers, and uh, some of us uh, that normally come out were not able to make it. But we still had a wonderful time. And it wasn't the same uh, in some respects because, you know, when people that you love can't make it, you understand. You do. But it's just awesome to have people that want to be in my life, the people that desire to be a part of my life. And I thank God for that. I thank God for a brother in Philadelphia who sent me. Uh, a scripture that I want to talk about real quick, Romans 6 and verse 12. Let not sin dwell in your mortal body, that it will have rule over you. Let not sin dwell in your mortal bodies. I know it's not popular to talk about sin. Everybody wants to hear how awesome they are. Everybody wants to hear how unique and we were created and we were made beautiful and we were, we were created for purpose and we were made on purpose by God for purpose and all these wonderful things and God formed us in our mother's belly and he he, was, he is the potter, and we are the clay, and he doesn't make junk and all these wonderful things like this. But it's important to talk about sin. It's important to talk about sin. And it's on my heart because 2.30 in the morning, I wasn't always praying. 2.30 in the morning, I wasn't always on my knees crying out for my family and my friends. 2.30 in the morning, there were times I was doing some stuff. And some of y'all are out there doing some stuff. And sometimes you can do some stuff in the privacy of your own home. And sometimes you can do some stuff on your way home from work. This was what I used to do, coming home from work and going in the wrong direction. But, but, but God, that's all I got to say, but God, but the grace of God kept me. But the grace of God allowed me to see myself through it. And I thank and I praise God for his power, his grace to overcome, his grace to transform, his grace. But do brothers and sisters, family, please, please do not deceive yourselves and think you could just, just a little bit, just a little bit, that's all I got to do, just, just a little bit. Sin will overtake your life. It will overtake, it will crush your dreams. Uh, I heard a quote one time that sin will make you pay more than you ever wanted to pay. It will make you bear much more than you ever intended to bear. It will overtake your life. It will tear your dreams apart. Here's a brother who I know and I love so very much. I'm not going to mention his name. But he's on my heart because deception. Sin is a deception and it will rob you of your destiny. It will rob you of your destiny that God dreamed for you that God where did we exist before we were created where did all of creation exist before it was created it was in the mind and the heart of God creation was in the mind and the heart of God it was in his imagination God was dreaming about us he was thinking about us before we were even here. How did he know how to form us in our mother's belly? How did he know what desires we would have? How did he know what plan we have? We can easily say God has a plan for our life. We could easily say that. But when did he come up with that plan? 
It was in his imagination. He was dreaming about you and I. He was dreaming about us. I was at that campsite. And I was staring off. And some things came to head. Man, I need to be praying more. Man, me and my brothers, we need to be praying more up there. We, we need to be calling out the name of the Lord more up there for our families. We need to forget about anything uncomfortable and get on our knees and call out the name of the Lord. But I was up there and I was thinking of the goodness of the Lord. I was thinking of the desires I had for my children and my grandchildren. I was thinking about my babies I left in Philly and those who I don't see as much as I want to. And I see every these beautiful posts on Facebook. I'm seeing everybody growing up and the kids growing up and all these things. And I'm not a regular part of their lives, but I dream about them. I dream about being there with them. I dream about my grandchildren. What is our future going to hold? I have a dream for my kids. I have a plan. Oh my God, I want this and I want that for their lives. And I want them to have a relationship with the Lord. But how much greater is God's dream and desire for us to achieve? And sin will end all of that. It will end all of that. Romans 6.12 Do not let sin dwell in your body yes while we're on this earth sin is it's in the flesh is it something we got to battle with yes it's a fight but don't let it dwell in you stay in that fight don't give up if you're doing things you know you're not supposed to be doing don't give up i don't care how many times it does not have to dwell in you it does not have to dwell in me, family. Hear my heart. It does not have to dwell in us. It does not ha not have to complete its work. It does not have to complete its destruction. Heard the night of a, a dear sister of mine called me up about a woman who, she's a single mother and she has two or three kids and she's, she's got to move and she's got to move now. And we couldn't find anyone with a truck to uh, help her I don't know if the woman found someone for her or not to help but it just wore on my heart because I was supposed to be homeless that was my testimony I, I, I had nowhere to go at one point nowhere to go but God and it just broke my heart I had my son was probably 13 at the time and I thought I was going to lose everything I lost my job I lost everything and I didn't know what was going to happen, but but God. And then I heard about this woman in the night, and I'm praying for her. And I don't know her name. All I know is her situation. She has nowhere to go, and I hear about these things. I don't know what part she played in her situation. I don't know what mistake she's made, what path that she's been on that maybe she contributed to her demise in this situation but I contributed to so much in my life I committed I contributed to so much but God he kept me he keeps us don't let sin dwell in us we have a part to play don't feel look at the epistles the letters all right it talks about judging people talk about God's grace people talk about look all of the epistles, the letters that Paul wrote, condemned sin to the churches. Church people in the church age, all of the letters of Paul condemned sin as a practice. All of them. This book of Romans was written to the Roman church condemning sin in our lives. These are church people. It was not a different age. It was the same age we're living in now. Church age. Don't think and don't be confused. Don't be misled. Sin, the end result of sin is death, even for us. 
if we are saved from sin, yes. But we have to put it under the blood. We have to not settle for it in our lives. We have to overcome evil with good. We have to let the light of the Lord shine in our lives. We light candles. Because the candle on Friday night, the candle represents the light of God. And one little candle chases away darkness. One little candle chases away darkness. Lord God, that is my prayer, Lord God, in our lives. That sin would not dwell in our lives. That we would put it all under your blood daily. That we would die daily to sin and death. We would die daily to it and we would rise anew afresh in you, Lord. Just as that little candle burns bright, chases away darkness, let your light shine in us. Let it chase away the darkness that tries so hard to overcome our lives, so hard to overcome the lives of our children, so hard to put a stumbling block, an obstacle in our path, to stop us and hinder us from our destiny, from the destiny that you dreamed for our lives. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, bring us closer to you. Lord God, bring us closer. Shine a light of heaven on us. Protect our children, protect our family, keep our homes, and keep us safe from that evil one and from that evil day, Lord God. Put a stumbling block in the way, Lord God, in the way of those of us who are running to sin, planning sin, planning destruction, planning rendezvous with people we shouldn't be. Lord God, we put it all under your blood. Good night, family. Good morning, wherever it is for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you.